Hi, I'm John Howard. I'm lead game designer on Halo. And I'm Jamie Griesmer, and I'm a designer. Uh, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what's going on here, what's, why we think this game is fun, why it's cool. So these scenes are all from the first level, which is also the tutorial. So what you have right now is the technicians that woke you up from cryo sleep are teaching you about your energy shields and helping you figure out your controls. And it's all done within the context of the story, so it's, it's a smooth transition. And it also doesn't last very long because almost immediately things go bad and the Covenant start attacking and they start killing off the people who are trying to help you and then you're kind of on your own. Yeah, Jamie has a good point. We wanted to get you right into the action, right into the game. So what really feels like uh, a, a training, what feels like, oh, this is how you use the game, uh, only really happens in that first part. But throughout the first mission, in fact, throughout the entire game, there's always that stuff going on because there's so much stuff to do in Halo. Because you can drive vehicles, because you can walk around stealthily, because you can use uh, so many different weapons, so many human weapons, so many covenant weapons, and there's so many different types of environments, so many different types of enemies, that you're always constantly learning. So even at the end of the game, there's always new stuff going on. So throughout this mission, um, as you're progressing through, the ship is taking more and more damage and your screen will shake more often and things start falling and exploding and eventually the ship is just coming apart it seems right before it crash lands on Halo. Yeah, one of the things that's going on in this mission is uh, uh, the, the Covenant, this superior alien race who's been chasing humanity through the galaxy and destroying all of our civilizations and outposts has uh, uh, come upon the ship that you're on, the Pillar of Autumn. Uh, and the, your, your goal is to get the shipboard AI, which knows the location of Earth, which is the most valuable piece of information the humans have, to take her and to get her off Halo. So you guys escape an escape pod like this one uh, and crash land somewhere on Halo. And the first part of the game is about getting the rest of the human survivors and getting them with you. So you have all sorts of cool Marines and people to, uh, people to have combat with. And this is uh, your first actual glimpse of Halo. We wanted to show the coolest parts of Halo first and so we've got the thousand foot cliffs and the incredible sky with the ring up there in the distance um, but almost immediately before you really get a chance to sightsee the Covenant are on top of you. The vehicle you just saw there is a, is a Covenant dropship and one of the challenges we face is obviously we do interior environments and we do exterior environments. One of the challenges with exterior environments is unless you populate the whole exterior with bad guys, uh, you need a way to bring in more bad guys. You can't have guys running over the terrain for 45 minutes coming to coming to finally reach you. So human dropships and Covenant dropships are a way for us to, to reinforce a battle from either side and to mix things up and to, and, and to surprise you as, you as you go through the game. Uh, and it makes, uh, it makes it a lot of fun. So here's one of our friends, another one of the Covenant. This is the, uh, the Grunt, who is uh, uh, affectionately cannon fodder. Uh, we're going to waste a couple of them here, waste a couple of elites with the, uh, the turret. Now you saw the elite was trying to get in that turret himself, but then the player jumped in and used it against him. That's one of the themes of Halo, is taking enemy weapons and using them against them, effectively or ineffectively. Right, it's like taking your little brother's hand and, and, and making him hit himself with it. It's a lot of fun. So one of the things that, uh, obviously, it's, a, you know, Halo's a game about combat, a game about shooting, a game about explosions, a little bit of song and dance, um, a lot of human weapons and a lot of alien weapons. Uh, one thing we really wanted to do with the weapons in Halo, we didn't want to make, uh, most games have a, a scale of weapons. Every weapon is better than every other weapon. Uh, that's not true in Halo. Uh, in every situation, in, uh, there's always an ideal weapon. Um, it may not be the one you're carrying right now, but every time there's a place, you know, the last mission in the game even, in places and later missions, and all the time multiplayer, we're like, Oh, geez! I wish I had the pistol, or I wish I had uh, 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 the you know the enemy uh, plasma rifle. Um, all, always, there's a situation where where you want uh, different tools. And you can definitely see the different personalities in this situation. The the cool stealth elite is just calmly surveying, and the grunts are kind of running around and being a little hectic. And then the giant hunter is just kind of watching for his next his next opponent. Yeah, the hunter is a uh, hunter is still truly scary. Haven't worked on this game for. For, for a long time now, the hunter is the hunter is someone I still truly fear for uh, many reasons. Man, you see, we're just laying into him right here, and uh, yeah, he doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. He's gonna whip our ass. Uh, so this is again outside. This is actually one of my. This is actually a beautiful environment. One of my favorite environments. This snow environment. Taking care of a little business with the elite. Um, we're back to the Marines here. If you want to talk about that, Jamie? One of one of the things we really focused on in Halo is combat with the AI and not just against the AI so you can see the Marines are helping you out you, sometimes you follow them like you saw from the first mission and sometimes they follow you and try to help you achieve your objectives uh, yeah so obviously more weapons sniper rifle 
uh, the ice. Actually, one of the cool things with all these different vehicles is you pick up like something like the Ghost or the Warthog, which is the human jeep with the chain gun on the back. You load the Marines into that. Their weapon ass you hit across the ice. You take too hard of a turn. You slide into a wall and tumble the vehicle, and they all go, they all go flying out. And then the AI, the Marines, are smart enough to go, hey, I need to be back in that jeep. And as soon as you right the jeep, they get right back in it with you. This is a this is an example of the enemy using vehicles against you. That's a that's a mortar tank and. It, this is a Covenant dropship, and it's just dropped two Covenant ghosts, and they use vehicles extensively, and a lot of the fun of the game is is to take that charge of the vehicle and take the guy out that's driving it and then steal it yourself. If we weren't uh, pasting that guy with a rocket launcher, if we would have just hit him with a grenade and sort of glanced him and flipped the vehicle over, you would have seen the same thing where the, where the, uh, where the elite would have gotten tumbled out of his vehicle, fired at you as he ran back to his vehicle, and then tried to hop back in and use it against you. None of that stuff is scripted or pre-planned. It's all just how the AI knows how to use the environment and how to use the tools that they have against you. This is a great example of an outdoor battle. It's, it ranges across an entire uh, canyon floor. It's, it's a giant terrain, plenty of vehicles, lots of guys. Um, all in the same area, part of the same giant battle. Yeah, this is another one of the human vehicles. This is the, uh, the Scorpion tank, uh, which is a giant badass tank that we're using to just punish little grunts. That, is, that right there is what Halo is all about. It's all about using a giant tank to pound one tiny little grunt and throw him through the air. One thing you didn't see there is that the, the giant turret also has a machine gun on it, so you can be safely cozied in your tank, and while you're waiting for the next round of the, of the master shell to reload, to fire off the machine gun round and provide some... Uh, additional covering fire. And what you see right there is you're driving a tank inside of a huge structure and it's a massive epic undertaking and that's that's really Halo.